Hey, how's it going? Thank you for stopping by. Check out my YouTube page. Check out my YouTube video. My name is Rick. Also known as Rich Two Cents. This is my son, Lil Ricky. Real no boxing today has been quite anxious. You wanted the bo this box to be open? <laughs> he was super anxious. I did a little bit of spoiler alert. Announced that I had this laser. I apologize. It took a couple weeks to uh, to do this video, publish this video. I caught COVID and just kicked my butt. So here we are. We're doing an unboxing today. Our first fiber laser. Uh, everyone's been asking, asking, and asking, and asking. You know, can I do a fiber laser? Can I do a fiber laser? So I thank you, and I just want to say these guys made it happen. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this box busted open. Um, I first just want to say it's boxed like extremely well. So uh, it's like in a little mini crate, which is good. I had it tipped up because I wanted you to see the manufacturer's logo on the front. So let's get this cut open. Phone, <laughs> you have it. He keeps asking, what do you think it's gonna look like? What's gonna think it's gonna look like? Look what we got, a ruler. They came with the ruler so you can focus it. Looks like some hardware, some screws, pedal. We'll get us that. Oh, your favorite. Look what they came with. Well, these are actually kind of fancy. These are probably the nicest lasers Kaga have gotten with any of it. My favorite. Yes. Right. And look, they're adjustable so they can fit you good. Oh, yeah, what do you think? I think they look cool. <laughs> so everything's green? Everything's <laughs> green. Okay, don't like to see them get scratched. Let's just put them back in. They actually have some nice uh, blockers there to block the light, which is kind of cool. And they're adjustable. Um, Nice. Yeah, so these 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 are definitely by far the nicest glasses I've ever seen so far. And it looks like it has some inscription on here, basically telling you what uh what lights it actually blocks out. No, it's not a balloon. It's a it's a cloth to clean the glass. Put the back in there, and a cloth to clean the glass. We've gone. Rotary tool. Rotary tool. Definitely heavy duty looking. It's a uh it's a K eleven to eighty, it says. Watch some time with that. This is definitely beefy to do this. Very nice. Very cool. Alright, let's keep opening. <laughs> All right, it looks like for the most part the laser is pre assembled. It's pretty heavy. There's. Yeah, it's just part of it. Yep. I'm so bad that. There's no laser. And here in Pavlik's. We got the girl. We got the key with the. The girl's a laser because it came up pink. Okay. Wow, oh, it's this. It's so pink. Here's the base. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Nothing else in here. All right. Get the box off the waist. A fairly large workspace here. Hold on. Up. Measure that. That is that is just gonna look pretty large. It's um thirteen and five eighths. I'm gonna measure a whole base. I don't know the late uh, engravable area, right? So the whole base is um thirteen and five eighths by it looks like ten and a quarter. If I'm going based on these dotted lines here, that, uh, 
you know, that workspace area. So definitely a large workspace area. Well, uh, it looks like. Hi, I'll be there for you. Okay, thank you so much. Looks like one wire. And that's it. Let's get this open. Find us some screws. So it's in here. A USB. Some uh, packing slip information, probably for customs. Insulations. Got it. See what else we got in here. A USB drive. It looks like it's never been opened, so I'm assuming it has nothing on it. Maybe they just compliment to Cherry, uh, gave me a USB drive to save files. Not sure. We'll see what's on that. We'll save some uh, business cards. An entire set of Allen keys, which is cool. Power cord. Some screws. USB cable. Two USB cables. It's like two different lengths. Looks like some kind of uh, part of the chuck. Maybe that you can uh, change the chuck out to a different chucks here. A pedal to uh, turn it on and off the laser. And these metal things are good for like, when you want to fly something up. So you can screw that in there to help you, you know, repetition on uh, slice them. So get this put together. Yeah. Like the pedal. All right, and that's it. Looks like uh, you got the front. Looks like there's a power on button here. Um, let's see what the button on the front here says. It says down. So I'm assuming this makes this come down. Um, and it says up. I'm assuming that makes that go up. Uh, on the back side here, now grab the camera and do a close-up shot. I'm just showing you. Turn this around. Um, for size, ref for size, size reference, this thing is a uh, 28 and a half inches tall, and the full base is about a little over about 16 and a half inches in length. And I'd say it's just uh, 13 and 7 eighths wide. So if you're looking in a workspace or building an enclosure, maybe that'll kind of give you a uh, help. This obviously is the pedal. Uh, that did uh, you press stuff on it? It activates the laser. Um, so let me spin this around. That rubber feet, so I don't want to wear them out. But it looks like it has a power supply cooler here with the fan. Uh, 110 uh, connection with looks like an inline fuse. So if it uh, takes a hit, it can it can the fuse will blow. Uh, a USB connection. A rotary attacher and a foot pedal attacher. So, fairly simple installation. Um, <laughs> it's pre assembled. This is just taken off so that uh, it makes it easier to pack. But it can't beat that. I, I've, this is the first laser that I haven't had to spend hours setting up. So, let's go ahead and get this set up on the bench and then uh, we'll go from there. But we're, we'll be right back. So, be right back, Ricky. We're back. All right, just giving you kind of a peek in the back end of my shop here. I have a bench, and this is where uh, the laser is going to be permanently installed. The reason is because I installed a six inch exhaust outlet uh, outside of my house. So it'll be easy to add a T, come down here and have an exhaust. If you are using these lasers, you should 100% uh, have this exhausted out of your house. 
uh, with all these fumes and these toxins, not from the laser itself, but whatever the laser itself is removing. So very, very impressive um, laser. Just looking at it without even using it, just the way it's built. Um, just, man, all kinds of things are going through my mind of ideas that, um, you know, that I can create, that I can make with this. It's going to be an awesome time. I'll just go to a quick over some of the features here. Uh, this button right here at the top that does turn on and off that light. If you noticed, see that? And if you will, uh, this has a, a up and down. So you're not cranking it by hand a little fancier. And if you notice now, those two little dots are out of sync. So you'd want to lower it down. until they're within sync and that's how you know your focus is set up so outstanding currently the uh fiber laser itself is plugged into um directly into electrical receptacle if you watch any of my laser videos uh, i always say i've or frown upon doing that so just so you are aware it will not be permanently staying in i just plugged it in there um just to turn it on so that everyone can see i will be installing a um surge protector and a power conditioner and if you want to watch a separate video of why you should have that any one of your lasers uh, i'll drop a link in the description below but i will have one for dedicated to this laser itself so super excited let me go ahead and get this uh laser installed in light burn and we will do a test burn you're right fast all right all right all right got it set up in light burn and look at that can you see that it is an R. So like I said, I'm going to be doing some upgrades. Uh, I do have an adjustable uh, bed here. You know, the X and the Y axis. I didn't get the Z uh, since this does have the uh, lift gate or the power lift. It's not manual adjusting. I didn't think it was important that, you know, I had to get the uh, Z axis one. I just got the X and the Y axis. Um, so if you want to see an upcoming video of me installing that, uh, once I post that video, I will drop a link to that in the comments below in this uh, video as well. I will be adding some additional lights. As you can see, I'm using my lights I normally use for the uh, videos uh, to add an extra light. So it's a little, a little dark in here. So I will be adding some extra lights. You'll see a video on that. Uh, and I will also be adding a T into this exhaust so that I have an exhaust dedicated uh, to the fiber laser. I also will be adding, like I said, a... Um, Surge protector slash um, power conditioner uh, because the quality of the electric makes a drastic difference on these lasers. Trust me, I'm Lyman. Uh, that'll be in a different video it's as well if you want to see that. And then if you caught the video of the short that I just showed a bunch of blanks that I just came in, you didn't see nothing yet. Uh, man, my, my front door just been flooded with packages. I knew this was on its way, so I did go ahead and make a... Uh, a ton of purchases for a bunch of blanks if there's anything you want to make with this laser let me know in the comments below or send me an email at rick.ramirez at rickstwocents.com once again that's rick.ramirez at rickstwocents.com i'll do a separate video i was uh setting up the rotary arm and actually making some tumblers and other things with that uh i do greatly greatly thank these guys for making this possible bless me with this laser um so uh outstanding uh they also gave me some uh remote assistance i was uh, just wanted to make sure that the config files were correct that i was using for this so that the parameters were set up correctly uh and they confirmed and jumped in uh, i sent them some screenshots and they got me going right away so fairly uh straightforward <laughs> it's just a little bit like it's so um putting this together you just used to when you put in a laser together a diode laser a co2 laser there's just so many things you have to put together and with this, it's just so funny. It's just good to go. Pretty much just put the top on and you're ready to rock and roll. So without further ado, like I said, this is just an unboxing video. But let me go ahead and get this lasering and um, say be back for many, 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 many more videos. Um, and just be ready to rock with me with this laser because uh, I'm going to make it a ton of videos. So uh, let's get this cut. does
Hold on the south. Ah, uh, can you see that? Here it is. Sorry, it's poor light. Let me go. Uh, put it over here. Wow. I'm sorry. The lights here are horrible. They're definitely fixing that problem, but. Can we grab my phone? So I'm gonna see it now. There you go. Look at that. Very cool. Um, I don't feel anything as far as like a lip. Then you need slightly. Slightly. Oh, was super fast. Super happy with that. And like I said, this is just an unboxing video, and this just shows that it works. <laughs> uh, be ready for a ton of videos. And like I said, if you're not already a subscriber, do me a favor, go ahead and hit smash that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you hit the bell for notifications for when I post new videos. And be ready for a ton of, ton of, ton of fiber videos to come. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah, buddy, if you're looking for a laser, hit these guys up. I will drop all their information in the context below. Um, hit them up, hit them up, hit them up. Uh, I'm impressed. Like I said, all the contact information will be listed in the comments below. If you're looking for a fiber laser, hit them up. Uh, this is the 30 y uh, fire. It's a raised fiber. Yeah, so like I said, I'll list all the information in the comments below. Uh, I tried to end this video once before. I'm just so excited. I'm sorry. But uh, like I said, um, just ready for a ton more videos. Thanks for watching. God bless. You're fly for real this time. Talk to you later. See you soon.